everyone. Welcome to Low Carb 360. My name is Jay. Today I'm sharing with you one of my favorite, favorite, all-time favorite low carb breakfast recipes. And that's my recipe for scotch eggs. Let's begin. Okay, so the first step is to boil the eggs and I boil the eggs for about 12 minutes. Okay, now I take the eggs out of the boiling water and I place them in a cold ice water bag. Right, so here are the ingredients you'll need for scotch eggs. I have the eggs, the sausage meat, I have salt and pepper, a grated onion, parsley, Worcestershire sauce, some garlic powder, and sage. Then I have crushed pork rinds. I have carb quick and two beaten eggs. So let's begin. Okay, so the first step is I'm going to go season my meat. I'm going to add the grated onion, parsley, salt and pepper, Worcestershire sauce, and the sage and garlic powder. Then I'm going to mix this in. And to be honest with you, the best thing to do is to use your fingers to mix this in because you can see it's kind of difficult to do it with a, with a spoon. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. Our meat is nicely seasoned. I'm going to go ahead and set this aside and then we'll go ahead and prep the, egg. the eggs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to make the scotch eggs. So let me move the egg aside and we're going to divide um, the sausage into five pieces. Try to do it equally, okay? Now it's kind of sticky as you can see. It's actually, it's very sticky. So what I do is I have some carb quick here on the side and I'm just gonna kind of dip it on the carb quick and then I'm gonna, it makes it a lot easier to handle the sausage. And then what I'm doing is I'm flattening it, flattening the sausage into like a patty because we want this to cover our boiled eggs. And if it's getting sticky, just go ahead and dip it back in the carb quick and continue to press it out. Kind of estimate the size it will need to cover the egg. Then I have the egg. Let me dip this in some carb quick too. Right? And then I'm going to put it in the sausage meat and fold it over. And this is kind of messy so you'll have to excuse me. Fold it over the egg and kind of round it out into a ball right now if you see any openings you want to close them because you don't want it to be separated once it's cooking but um, you just want it to be into a round ball again you may want to dip it again in some carb quick and round it out and look at that I have a nice round ball okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do this to the rest of the eggs and I will be right back Okay, so I'm doing it one more time. Again, we want to make this less sticky, so I'm going to dip it in the carb quick and flatten it out like if you're making a hamburger. It's a little bit sticky still, so I'm just going to go ahead, dip it again, and flatten it out. Okay, then you take the boiled egg and then you place it in the center and you fold the meat over. It's really very simple once you get the hang of it. And then you kind of round it out. And again, it's getting sticky. I'm going to dip it again in the carb quick and round it out. And then it looks like a giant sized meatball. Like so. So our last stage before we um, cook these is to dip them in the egg, roll them around in the egg, right? And then I'm going to take the pork rinds that I mixed up and I'm just going to roll them in the pork rind. Look at that. And I want to roll it in the pork rind as much as possible because this is going to be the thin crust at the end. Usually you make this with um, 
breadcrumbs but for our low carbers we're going to be using the pork rind and that's what it looks like and usually this is fried but I'm gonna bake these <music> So this is what it looks like before going in the oven so I'm just gonna spray some olive oil over it real quick like that and we're gonna stick these in the oven bake them and I'll be right back with the finished product so this is what the scotch eggs look like um, one thing I want to tell you is that you can always freeze these you can take them to work with you you can also um, take them out like if you're on the go you can take them with you and they taste good cold as well so they're great food to have on hand always so I'm gonna go ahead and cut into this and this I'll be right what it looks like after cutting into it um, this is one recipe you would want to make it is absolutely delicious the entire recipe will be on my website it's lowcarb360.com as always I thank you all for watching <laughs>